Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. It is Friday, and that means it's Viewer's Choice Day. For those of you that are new to the channel or returning after a long absence away, every week I now put up a poll for you, the viewer, to choose what kind of cocktail we're going to make. Now, in this case, I had three choices. We had hot coffee, hot chocolate, or something mulled. And 56% of the vote was for hot chocolate. And that's fantastic, I love hot chocolate, that obviously means that you do as well. Now, what I've done is I've made a homemade hot chocolate and a homemade whipping cream. And what we're going to do is go upstairs to the kitchen and we're gonna make those right now. So we need five ounces or 150 grams of a semi-sweet baker's chocolate. We're going to make sure that we chop it up very, very fine so it melts easily in the bowl. Five tablespoons or 65 grams of powdered cocoa. We need three tablespoons or 45 milliliters of maple syrup or honey, I'm using honey. We need five cups or 400 milliliters of milk. Turn the stove top to medium heat and whisk good. Once the milk has heated up, then add the chopped chocolate and whisk until fully incorporated. I need two sugar cubes or five grams, one teaspoon, five milliliters of vanilla extract four ounces or 120 milliliters whipping cream. Mix on medium speed until it hits the desired consistency that you want, either soft peaks or nice, thick and fluffy. Now that we're done making our fantastic hot chocolate and whipping cream, and I will put the method and the ingredients of how to make that down in the description down below, we're going to make you four fantastic hot chocolate cocktails. Simple, easy, build in glass cocktails that you can have any time of the year, especially on a cold night, so let's get into it. Now the first hot chocolate cocktail that we're gonna to make to you is called a green show. Now it comes directly on the back of the bottle of a large size green chartreuse. Now I have the small one, so I had to go look it up on their website and I'm going to garnish it slightly different. Now it's two ingredients plus your garnish and that of course comes out with your green chartreuse, your fantastic hot chocolate, and we're gonna do a massively large size marshmallow. So let's get into this. And this is, as I said, built in the glass. So you're gonna grab your coffee mug, whatever size you want, this will allow you to adjust your recipes and your ratios and all that great stuff. And you want this fantastic herbal liqueur and we're gonna use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Six ounces or 180 milliliters hot chocolate. Oh yeah, look at that. Fantastic, look at the color of that. Now, what we're going to do next is garnish this with our marshmallow. But before we do that, we actually need to take a flame to it and toast the top of it. And that is a green show. Now this next cocktail is called a ski lift. It contains three major ingredients and two garnishing ingredients. Those ingredients are coconut rum, and I'm using Malibu coconut, peach snaps, and I'm using Dr. McGillicuddy's, your fantastic homemade hot chocolate. And to garnish, we're going to use some homemade whipped cream and some ground cinnamon. And like I said, this is another build in your glass cocktail. And we're going to start off with our coconut rum. And for this, we need three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters coconut rum, three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters peach snaps, five and a half ounces or 165 milliliters hot chocolate. Yeah, look at that. And you know what? <laughs> now you get to garnish this with some of the best whipped cream that you could have. And what we'll do is we'll just get a good spoonful of it like so, and we'll put it in like so. Some grated cinnamon on top. And this is a ski lift. Look at this, fantastic. All right, the third cocktail that we're going to make is called a peppermint patty, and it contains creme de menthe. You can use whatever uh, mint liqueur that you want, whether it be a schnapps or not, you'll just have to adjust the amount based on the flavors. We also need some of your fantastic homemade hot chocolate. Now for the garnishes, we're gonna use some more homemade whipped cream and chocolate syrup. So let's get into this. Now we're gonna start with this creme de menthe, and for this, we need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Five and a half ounces or 165 milliliters hot chocolate. Yeah, look at that. And this will taste like a slightly weaker version of an after eight mint. Now, what we are going to do is add 
our whipped cream like so. And finish with chocolate syrup. Yeah, look at that, fantastic. And that is a peppermint patty. The last drink that we're going to make is called an Amazing Monk. It is again a build in a glass cocktail and it contains three ingredients and one garnish. And we're going to use Frangelico. We're going to use some Kahlua for a coffee liqueur. Now it is sweeter compared to some, so if you're using something like Mr. Black, which doesn't have as much sugar, you may need to adjust your sweetness level somewhere, totally up to you. We're also gonna use some of our fantastic homemade hot chocolate and some mini marshmallows. So grab your glass again and then grab your Frangelico. This stuff is a hazelnut. It's fantastic, and we're gonna use one ounce and 30 milliliters. Half an ounce or 15 milliliters Kahlua. Five and a half ounces or 165 milliliters hot chocolate. Oh yeah, look at that. I can't wait to tuck into this one. Now we are gonna garnish it with our mini marshmallows like so. Yeah, look at that. Fantastic, and this is an amazing monk. And here we have four fantastic hot chocolate cocktails that you can have at home on a cold night, by yourself or with friends or whatever, totally up to you. But we have a green show, a ski lift, a peppermint patty, and an amazing monk. Please try them out, tell me what you think, leave comments down below if you think I should change anything, ratios, or even the hot chocolate recipe. But you know what? I am going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make all four of these down in the description down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on rock because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic evening.